Hello, this is Mr. White, and this is an old IB question that I find to be one of my favorite uh, sequence of series type questions. And um, the strategy that I use for this question is similar to one that I use for all questions that say uh, there are three consecutive terms. So three terms in America. Yeah, so three consecutive terms. So if they're consecutive, I always use this strategy. The arithmetic part first, so B minus 1 is the same as 1 minus a, right? If I subtract two consecutive terms over and over again, it should always be the same number. And the same thing over here with the geometric, b divide a should be the same as a divide 1. Okay, so if I just deal with this one, I have a squared equals b. And then if I go over here and just take out, uh, let's, let's take out b, I have a squared minus 1 equals 1 minus a. And it looks like we have a quadratic, so let's move everything to one side. So we have a squared plus a and minus 2. So if we factor this guy, we have a and a, 2 and 1, and I need a minus and a plus. So a can either be negative 2, and a can be 1. Now is there anything that says anything about that? Find the values of a and b. Okay, um, so let's keep going here. So if a is, uh, well, it can't be 1 because we already have a term of 1, so it must be negative 2. So if that's the case, then b is a squared from right here, so that should be 4. So let's just check to make sure that these make sense. So um, in the arithmetic, we have negative 2, 1, and 4. So that means I add 3 every time as an arithmetic. And as a geometric, I think it works. If we multiply, um, the geometric will be 1, negative 2, and uh, 4. So it's a different progression, I forgot. So we have um, multiply by negative 2, 1 by negative 2, we get negative 2, multiply by negative 2 again, we get 4. So there you go, it works.